In recent years, lab-grown diamonds have emerged as a great alternative to mined diamonds, offering engagement ring shoppers a sustainable and ethical choice without compromising on the brilliance and beauty of the gemstone. Among the various methods used to create these lab-grown diamonds, the high-pressure, high-temperature method, otherwise known as HPHT, this stands out and is the preferred method with us at the Faithful Platform. In this video, let's dive into why the HPHT method is preferred in the production of lab-grown diamonds. So the HPHT method involves recreating the natural conditions under which diamonds are actually formed deep within the Earth's mantle. A tiny diamond seed is placed in a press that simulates extreme pressure and high temperature environments allowing carbon atoms to bond and crystallize into a larger diamond structure. This process closely mimics the geological forces that shape mined diamonds over millions of years. The temperature used in the HPHT method usually ranges from approximately 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit to 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. These extremely high temperatures are necessary to facilitate the crystallization of carbon atoms into a lab-grown diamond. The pressure used can range from about five gigapascals to seven gigapascals. To put this into perspective, one gigapascal is roughly equivalent to the pressure exerted by 10,000 tons of force onto an area the size of a thumbnail. One of the primary reasons the HPHT method is favored is the superior quality of diamonds it produces. The controlled conditions of pressure and temperature allow for the creation of diamonds with exceptional clarity and exceptional color. The resulting gems exhibit the same optical and physical properties as their mined counterparts, making it nearly impossible for the naked eye to differentiate the two. Lab-grown diamonds created using the HPHT method are indistinguishable from natural diamonds when examined using conventional techniques. The HPHT method allows for greater control over the diamond synthesis process. By adjusting the pressure and adjusting the temperature conditions, manufacturers can tailor the growth process to produce diamonds of various sizes, shapes, and qualities. This flexibility is advantageous in meeting the diverse preferences of shoppers and jewelry designers, ensuring a wide range of options to choose from. This means that you can enjoy the same sparkle and the same fire as mined diamonds without any ethical concerns. Mined diamond extraction can lead to habitat destruction, water pollution, and carbon emissions. Compared to traditional diamond mining, the HPHT method significantly reduces the environmental impact associated with diamond production. Lab-grown diamonds require far fewer resources and have a much smaller carbon footprint and will save you some money along the way. Again, we at the Faithful Platform prefer and recommend the HPHT method when it comes to lab-grown diamonds. Let us know in the comments what you think about lab-grown diamonds, and if you're interested in starting the process of buying your own lab-grown diamond, fill out the free quote I'm linking in the description below.